Can you believe all this snow? So I already have underlined for you our content words, believe, all, and snow. Those need to be heard loudly and clearly to understand the meaning of this sentence. The other words, can, you, and this, will go by quite a bit faster and will reduce in sound since they're not so important to hear. So all is our focus word. This is the most important word in the sentence. It is basically the topic of our sentence. All this snow, we're emphasizing so much. That is our main topic and that needs to stand out more than anything else. So you see I have it written in capital letters to remind you to pronounce that one louder and longer than everything else. Now let's take a look at the word believe. Believe is the only two syllable word here and we want to make sure that we pronounce it with the stress on the second syllable. Believe. Now take a look at can. So can is also a function word. So we're not going to hear it very clearly. The vowel is going to disappear here. We're just going to pronounce it can. Okay, so leave out that A vowel. Can you? We're going to link together the N and can and the Y and U, consonant to consonant linking here. Link those nicely together. Put a little C there and a little C there for consonants. Normally we would connect the V sound in believe and the A sound in all, and you still can connect those. But since all is our focus word here, it's going to kind of stand out all by itself in this case. So I'm not going to link those together. But let's go ahead and link this consonant to this consonant, consonant to consonant linking, and this consonant to this consonant. And you'll notice this ends in S and snow begins with S. When that happens, only pronounce the S one time. This snow. Can you believe all this snow? I can't remember when we've had this much snow. Now again, I have underlined for you all the content words. And you'll notice this is in all capital letters. That's a little bit unusual. The word this is usually a function word and usually reduces and goes by quickly. But in this particular sentence, this much means a lot. And what we're really emphasizing in this sentence is the large quantity, this much. So this much is a little different from just the word this. So it's actually going to stand out as our focus word. And again, we have one word here that has more than one syllable. Remember, has three syllables. The middle syllable is your primary stress. Remember. Now let's take a look at can't. Now we need to make sure that we are emphasizing can't in this sentence because negative words are content words. They need to be heard loudly and clearly. And in this case, can't is a little bit louder than the verb that comes after it. Can't remember. And you need to make sure that you distinguish clearly between can and can't. Remember, can shortens to can. And can't is really emphasized. Can you believe versus I can't remember. Make sure you pronounce fully the ending on can't as well, both the N and the T, because if you don't, your listener may think that you are actually pronouncing can. Now let's take a look at the linking. Can't remember. There is somewhat of a connection here, but it's a slightly broken one because we have that T there. So that T is a little bit of a stop, although the T is a little softer here, than it normally is, can't remember. It's a bit of a held T, meaning that you're not going to pronounce it as strongly as you typically do, and it will somewhat connect here, can't remember. But there's still a bit of a stop with your voice. You're gonna connect here, remember when, remember when. 
you're going to connect here when we've, we've had, had this, this much, much snow. I can't remember when we've had this much snow.